Hi, this is a demonstration of fault detection application. I am launching the application now. Before starting the fault monitoring, let me go ahead and configure some alerts. Let's have a waiting duration of 5 seconds. Let's choose to have the audible alert. And let's have a build duration of 5 seconds as well. And let's choose some sound to play. Let's configure email alerts. We are including our location as well as a list of hospitals in the vicinity. Let's choose some contact persons. With all this configuration done, I am now starting the fall monitoring. It says that it is now monitoring for fall. And now I can simply navigate back to home screen, lock the phone and forget about the application. It will keep monitoring for fall in the background. And whenever it classifies a particular instance as a fall instance, it's going to ask me a question whether I'm all right. And if I say yes, then no alerts will be generated and that particular instance will be used to retrain the classifier. Similarly, if I say no, the instance will be used for retraining the classifier, but the alerts will also be generated without waiting for any waiting duration. But, and uh, if the fall knocks me unconscious, or if I don't reply, or the application does not understand what I have said, in all these cases, there will be the waiting duration countdown. This countdown gives another chance to the user for cancelling the alerts generation. At the end of this countdown, the alerts will be generated. We are going to demonstrate the most severe case over here, the case in which a fall knocks the user unconscious. So uh, right now, I'm going to take a couple of steps and I'm going to demonstrate a fall. So uh, we could we can see that there's alert generation message and an email is being constructed in the background and we could also hear the question the user did not reply then there was the waiting duration countdown and at the end of it the audible alert was generated and we have also received an email message as we had configured this particular email message it has a timestamp when the fall occurred it has location coordinates of the user. They are also plotted on a map to show the user's location. And user's address as well as a list of hospitals in the vicinity is also provided. Uh, because we are viewing the email on a phone, we can actually click on this phone number and directly call the hospital. Okay, so this was a demonstration of our fault detection and alert generation application. Thanks for watching the same.